So many people ask me what it's like being an artist going on tour. So today I'm going to take you inside the life of a touring singer-songwriter. Hi, I'm Danny Young. I'm an Australian singer-songwriter. I write my own songs. I record and release original music and I go on tour. Plus I'm an all round music lover. So if you want to see more videos from me, make sure you subscribe and ring the bell for notifications. In today's video, I'm taking you behind the scenes on my recent tour to Queensland with another artist, Angela Eason. In light of all the recent restrictions that the Australian government has brought in, the rest of our tour has been completely canceled. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity for me to take you behind the scenes and show you what it was like hitting the road for the last two weeks that Australians were allowed to perform music gigs. So Angela and I met a couple of years ago at a songwriting retreat. Angela was writing her new record and I was just looking for some new songs for a bit of a new sound that which would eventually become a new record for me as well. And we kept in touch, we've been great friends since then. and. The perfect person to go touring with is someone who's based in a different state so that you can combine your fan bases. So Angela is from Adelaide, but she now lives in Sunshine Coast, whereas I live in Sydney in New South Wales. So between us, we had, you know, we had fans in a few places. So we decided we'd start with Queensland, then we do New South Wales, and then we do South Australia. So this was the first weekend of the tour. We decided to hit Queensland first. I flew up from Sydney to the Sunshine Coast, and my flight was a little bit delayed, but they didn't tell me that. So I got off the plane knowing that I needed to head to the ABC Sunshine Coast studio as soon as I got there to get to an interview. And I looked at the time and realized I had run out of time and I needed to be there right now. So I had to jump in the first cab, go as fast as I could to get to the ABC studios. Literally in the nick of time, one minute later, they wouldn't have had room to fit me in. I ran into the studio, picked up my guitar, started tuning it while they were introducing me on air and started playing the first song and uh, did the interview. So I recently released a new single, Keep On Loving You, and I decided that would be the song I would play in the radio interview. I did an acoustic version of the song for the first time ever, I had never done it before on guitar, but you know, you've gotta be able to play your song yourself live and acoustically whenever you do a radio interview. So that was the challenge and I think I nailed it. So after the interview, I was picked up by Ange and we went back to her place in the Sunshine Coast to get ready for the night's gigs. We uh, had a little relaxation. It's very warm and humid up there. So just had to get out of the hot air, just get some air conditioning. We did our nails. We did matching nail polish for the tour. I don't know why, it's just a girl thing. And did our hair and makeup and got ready to head over to the Waves Club in Caloundra for the first gig. Now it had been raining all week in Sydney and it had not rained a second in the Sunshine Coast before I got there. But um, as we arrived at the Waves Club in Caloundra and started unloading all our heavy gear from the car to take inside the club, it starts raining. So we had to unpack all the gear in the rain, carry it inside the club and get set up. The stage was in the middle of the dining hall. There was a bit of a dance floor in front of it and then the tables were all around it, every side, where people could eat their dinner and then they could sit there and watch the music afterwards. And I have to show you, the roof was amazing. It was lit up all rainbow colour. I thought it was the best thing ever. So we had to bring our own PA and lights and we were setting up for a four hour gig starting at 7pm and finishing at 11pm. We decided for this one, we would sit side by side on stage and go song for song. So Angela would play a song and then I would play a song. And we'd do that for a set, so probably 45 to 50 minutes, then take a little break for 10, 15 minutes, and then do our next set, each going song for song. Hello. <laughs> hey, we're here for the first night of the autumn tour. I'm here with Angela Eason. Tonight's our first gig and we're in Caloundra at the Waves Club. We can't wait. About to kick off. Say good day. Yeah, and we're all set up. This is our big setup, you can see. <laughs> we were performing a mix of our original songs and, you know, some covers. You have to always throw some covers in that uh, reflect who you are as an artist and, you know, get the audience a bit excited too. I was really excited to see there was one fan who travelled an hour to come and see the show. She'd been wanting to see me live 
for a long time and unfortunately I just hadn't been able to organize a Brisbane gig ahead of time. But she drove from Brisbane to Caloundra one hour to come and see me play finally and it was so good to meet Kerry in person. So I'm sitting here with Kerry who's driven an hour to come and see us play Caloundra tonight. Say hi to everyone. Hi. <laughs> How come you drove so far to come and see me? I like it, I like your music. <laughs> you like me, oh, I love it. Well, it's always so nice to have people come out and come to the gigs, especially when I'm playing in Queensland, which is not my home state. I've never played in Caloundra before, so it was really special for me to meet you here today. So this was a little bit of a challenging gig for me, honestly. It's been a little while since I've done a four hour gig. And even though we're going song for song, we're still on stage for the four hours and it takes a lot of energy to sing from your heart, to share your stories, to engage the audience. So I did feel a bit of fatigue starting to set in towards the end of the night, but thankfully um, the support of the audience always gets me through, always gives me that power to keep going. And so made it through the night, nailed it every last song right until the end. So we packed up and went home, ready for day two of our Queensland tour. But before we did our gig, we decided we had to go to the soccer fields and be soccer mums because uh, Angela has two beautiful kids that both play soccer and uh, she wanted to see them play in the morning before we drove to our next gig. So pulled up a chair by the soccer field, sat in the sun for a few hours, or well, maybe an hour of sunshine, enough to get a little bit of a, a sunburn on my chest before it starts pouring rain and we get completely drenched. I don't know how, but the kids kept playing. We're huddling under a marquee, but eventually we had to go home. So we were trying to walk through the pouring rain, dripping wet, wetter than if we jumped in a pool, really. It was, it was pouring that badly. <laughs> we look like drowned rats, great. <laughs> so that was a great way to start day two of the tour. We had to go home and have a shower and warm up again before we could go to our next venue on the tour. So it was a two and a half hour drive from Sunshine Coast up to Harvey Bay. And we were very lucky to be given some accommodation by a music producer that lives up in Harvey Bay in a beautiful house. We already eyed off the pool for later, but uh, we had to get ready very quickly and head over to the Bayswater Bar and Grill in Urungan for the night's gig. It was a beachside bar just opposite the road from the ocean. And would you know it, the minute we get there and start unpacking the car, it starts pouring rain. So I've brought the rain from Sydney to the Sunshine Coast to Harvey Bay, and I'm starting to feel a little bit cursed. Not looking forward to unloading for tonight's gig in this rain, oh my God. So one thing we learned was that trying to carry heavy speakers up the stairs in the pouring rain while holding an umbrella was not very effective and uh, resulted in having to do a million times more trips. So probably should have brought a rain jacket or figured that out. But uh, as you might've guessed, we ended up drenched before we started the show. So everything we'd done to our hair, ruined, that was okay. Show must go on. So we set up in this beautiful beachside bar, ready to start at 6 p.m. and finish at 10 p.m., so another four hour gig. And it was super awesome that we had someone drive half an hour in from Marysboro to come and see us play. Um, Taz was there, she took some photos for us, she bought us cocktails, made our night so much better. Checking in from halftime at the Bayswater in Arungan, which is Harvey Bay. And who's come to see us tonight's gig? It is Taz Munro, who's come all the way from Maryborough to see us. And Taz, what are you doing here tonight? I'm here to take some photos. Ooh. Love when people come along and help us out. And here's the beautiful stage behind us. What are you thinking of the show tonight? I'm loving it. Oh, you're loving it. It is stinking hot, like you can see, like my hair so is stuck great. to my head from sweat. And <laughs> I've, yeah, red from, uh, uh, it is hot. <laughs> What's been a highlight of tonight? The dancing. The dancing. <laughs> that couple. There was a beautiful couple that did some dancing to C'est La Vie, which is a, well, I do the Emmylou Harris version, but it's kind of an old standard country bluesish type of song. And yeah, I had some lovely dances to that one. So in that night's gig, we played lots of originals again, plus some cover songs mixed in. But what I really loved at this venue, when I would play an original song and introduce the story behind it and you know share my heart with everyone, 
Those are the songs that got the biggest cheers from the audience, so that was really heartwarming. So it was really hot and sticky up on the stage under the lights. It's, it's very humid in Queensland anyway. We're by the ocean, but with the lights shining on you, you just get so hot and sticky. So we were very happy to be able to head home after the gig to the pool, which lit up with blue lights all around the pool and a waterfall in the pool. And we bought some champagne. And so we jumped in and uh, had a little glass of champagne while chilling out in the pool after the gig. So we're celebrating the end of a very successful tour in Queensland with a little bit of champagne in the pool. In the pool. Woo! <laughs> we got up early the next morning and we went down to the beach to have some breakfast. Hello from Harvey Bay. We've just had breakfast actually. It was amazing and the coffee was amazing at that place right there. Enjoy. Just checking in on the final morning of the tour. It's been a big weekend, sunny coast and Harvey Bay. but um. Look where we've ended up, it's beautiful. A lot of the time it can be just, you know, destination, destination, destination. Just head to the accommodation, to the gig, then off to the next place. So it was really nice for us to be able to spend the morning enjoying Harvey Bay, getting a bit of sunshine, despite all the rain we'd had that weekend, and having a little walk by the ocean. Queensland down, we've got New South Wales and South Australia to go, but we're really looking forward to it. Yeah. So, uh, see you soon. See you on the road. After that, I flew home to Sydney from Harvey Bay and that was the end of our little tour from the weekend, but there were a few takeaways that I learned from that tour. The first one being, bring a rain jacket, especially if you know you're gonna be unloading heavy gear. An umbrella is not gonna cut it because you can't carry a big speaker and hold an umbrella. So bring a rain jacket. Even though it was the Sunshine Coast, I wasn't expecting it to rain. I only brought one jacket the whole time anyway, and I didn't need the jacket because it was so hot, but it did rain, so future Danny, bring a rain jacket. The second takeaway from this weekend for me was to make sure I really take care of my energy levels when I've got a four hour gig coming up. It was a really big day, flying in, doing a radio interview, getting to the accommodation, and then moving to the, uh, the gig site on day one of the tour was a lot to then follow it up with a four hour gig. It was definitely physically exhausting, a little bit draining. I pushed through, I got through the whole thing and definitely gave a great performance. But I definitely know for the future to just make sure I give myself enough time to rest, uh, make sure I'm well nourished um, and got my energy levels ready to go so I don't get a headache partway through the gig. So the last takeaway from this weekend for me was that after looking back at the footage, I didn't really like the way it looked having the two of us sitting down on stage. I think we would have looked a lot better standing up on the stage. And I definitely felt the difference too. There's a totally different feeling in your body when you're sitting down. And I felt I was having to dig a lot deeper to access the same emotions and the physicality that I need to really tell my stories and sing from my heart. And I found it's a lot easier to tap into that energy when I'm standing up. So that was my big takeaway. I much prefer to be standing up when I'm delivering a show. Although four hours is a long time to be standing up. So we'll work on that one for next time. We'll figure out the exact way we want to stage the show. So I hope you enjoyed coming on this behind the scenes look of my Queensland tour with Angela Eason. I had a brilliant time heading up to Queensland. I loved getting to meet so many of the fans that I haven't had a chance to meet before or who've come back from previous tours and wanted to see me again. So that was a really awesome thing to be able to do. I had a lot of fun on the road with Angela and uh, yeah, we'll definitely be doing that again in the future. And it was really awesome to be able to reflect on that. And I hope you enjoyed reflecting with me on what my main takeaways were from the weekend and how I can improve because as artists, we always need to be improving and looking back on what we've done. So this was a perfect way to do it. And if you like this and you want to see more videos like this, leave a comment letting me know what you'd like to see. If you just want to see more tour diaries or if there's something else you'd like me to tell you about the life of being an artist, going on tour, writing songs, anything like that, just let me know and uh, I'll see you in the next video. Bye. Oh, oh, oh.